Hey, what's up BeatStars family, this is Jamil. Today, I wanted to show you guys the full uploading process of how to upload a track on BeatStars and hopefully give you guys some tips and tricks to make your uploading process a little bit better. So, the first thing we want to do if we're going to upload some files is go up here in the top right corner to the blue upload button. If we press upload new here, we can upload any types of files that we want to use for anything we're creating on BeatStars. You can drag and drop these or go ahead and press this choose files button to bring up your files on your computer. For this, since we're creating a track, I'm going to upload an image, a WAV file, and my zip file. Alright, once we've selected everything we need, go ahead and hit upload. So this will bring up your My Upload section and you can see all your files being uploaded to BeatStars. This section is really useful if you want to bulk upload a lot of your files at once to get it out of the way and then create tracks afterwards. And you can upload as many as you want here and save them for later. So now we're taken to the Create section, where we can choose if we want to upload a track, a sound kit, or songs. I'm going to go ahead and hit Production Tracks for this video. And now we're in the Track Metadata Editor. So this is where you can add the files that you just uploaded to start creating a track. So you can go ahead here and select Untagged WAV or MP3. This section is going to be the file that's delivered to your customers once they purchase your beat. So you're going to want to include your Untagged WAV here. Let's go ahead and select Test File. Okay, so what this did was it's uploaded our WAV file and it's going to create an MP3 copy of this as well to be delivered for any of your licenses that also include MP3 files. And right below this we have track stems. This is where we can upload the zip file that we posted earlier or we can enter a URL with the track stems being available to download there. I definitely recommend uploading the files just so your customers are able to download them immediately right after purchase and they aren't going through any extra steps. But that option is available to you if you need it. So let's click this button and use that zip file that we uploaded before. Alright great, now that's uploaded. The next section here is your audio file for streaming section. This section is optional because if you leave it blank. BeatStars will use your untagged MP3 and manually attach a tag to it for streaming purposes. If you upload a custom tag file here in the Selling Preferences section in your account, BeatStars will use that tag and attach it for you. If you don't upload any tag there, BeatStars will use a custom default BeatStars.com voice tag for your streaming files. If you don't want BeatStars to add this tag to your files manually, you can upload a separate file where you add the custom tags yourself to your file that you're uploading. So if you upload a file here, make sure it already has the tags in it because this is the file that's going to play when people stream your beat on your profile or anywhere on the BeatStars marketplace. Okay, now that we've finished our files, we can go ahead and upload some more track information. First is our track title. Let's call this tutorial track. Okay, next you're going to enter your tags. Tags are one of the most important parts of the entire uploading process because this is going to determine how people are able to find your beats. So I want you guys to spend some time and really think about what types of tags that your beat falls under to make sure that you maximize your potential to reach customers. Some typical tags you might put are, let's say, an artist name, like Frank Ocean. If you have a Frank Ocean type beat, for example. You can put Lo-Fi, if your track falls under that category. And you could put Pop. So those are some examples of tags that you guys can put. But really pay attention and make sure that you're putting the correct tags so people that are looking for this type of beat can find it. Next, you're going to select your track type. This could be a beat, a beat with chorus, aka a beat with hook, a song reference, just vocals, or a complete song. This one is going to be a beat. Then you could select your release date. If you want it to post right away, just leave it uh, as is. If you want to schedule this for the future, 
which you know could be a very useful tool if you want to have a bunch of tracks ready and set release dates uh, for weeks or even months in advance so you don't have to do anything and your tracks just continue to post and your uploads are consistent this could be a very useful tool for you so just to show you what it looks like if you click on it you can set it you know days months in advance whatever works best for you guys marketing strategies I'm just going to leave it as is because I want this to post right away. Okay, below that is the URL of your track. We'll get back to that in a second and get to why it's really useful. Over here, you have the selling preferences section. Here, you can select if you want to mark this track not for sale. You might want to do this if you want to post the music on your uh, profile, but you don't want anyone to buy it. So you can select that. Next, you can select if you want your track to be private. This would mean that only you can see it. This could be a very useful tool. If you want to mark your track private, you'll see that the URL actually changes to be for exclusive access. So, say for example, if you had a buyer in mind for your beat, and you just want to show it to this particular person, but you don't want anybody else to be able to see it or purchase it, you can mark it private, and then send them this URL so only they'll be able to see and purchase the track. This next section here is if you want to exclude this track from bulk discounts. So if you have any bulk discounts available on your profile like buy one get one free, buy two get one free, and you don't want to include this track in that deal, you can hit this button and it won't be available for the bulk discount. This could also be useful if you're doing collaborations. Say for example, you don't want a collaborative track for whatever reason to be able to be gotten for free. Then you're going to want to hit exclude from bulk discounts. This section here, you could set your prices for all of your available licenses that you have activated. It'll automatically populate the prices for your licenses that you set in the licenses and contracts section. but. Let's say, for example, if you feel like this track required a little bit more work, it's a little bit better, and you want to make it possibly more expensive or even cheaper for whatever reason, you can go ahead and set the price for this individual track. Here you can set your free download options. So if you want people to be able to download your tracks for free without a license and for non-commercial use, you can go ahead and allow them to either download it with a voice tag or without a voice tag. And when you do this, you can uh, require downloaders to either give you a social follow on Twitter, SoundCloud, or BeatStars, or you can require them to give you their email address for uh, marketing purposes. You could also allow anonymous guest downloads, which won't require people to give you any follow or email address in order to download your tracks. I would probably recommend uh, having free downloads with voice tags and whatever your marketing scheme is, if you want to do some email marketing, make sure you capture emails or if you want to build up your social following on let's say BeatStars for example and you want to gain more followers on BeatStars, do that. Same thing with Twitter or SoundCloud. Whichever is more important to you, you guys have the options to choose. Alright, let's move on to track details. Up top here, you can check if you used any third-party loops and or samples. Only cleared or royalty-free samples are allowed on BeatStars, so make sure you're not using any uncleared samples. Even if your samples are royalty-free or loops are royalty-free like some on Splice, we still ask that you disclose it so the artist and buyer has all the information that they need. Let's say this is... What is the name of this sample loop? Let's say tutorial loop. And where did we get this? Let's say we got it from uh, you know, a royalty free loop website like Splice. All right, and you can add up to as many as you need over here. Now we're gonna set up our primary genre. Let's say this is a pop track. Our subgenre is going to be R&B. The primary mood 
You guys got a lot to choose from over here. Let's say this is a happy track. A secondary mood, we'll say it is energetic. And you could enter a description of your track here. Say, this is used for the Beat Stars tutorial. And you could set your BPM and key here. This is really important, you guys, because a lot of artists search by BPM for the tracks that they want because they have a certain style in mind that they're thinking of. So make sure you're setting an accurate BPM and not just leaving this section blank because it really does help with searchability. And enter your key as well. This is just as important. Make sure you're entering the right key so people know what kind of track that you have. Let's go ahead and select one over here. This area here will be where you can add your collaborators. So if you have any collaborators on your track, you can go ahead and hit add collaborators and you can find them on BeatStars. I'm going to use my profile as an example. Should take a second to load. There are a lot of profiles on BeatStars. All right, I'm going to add myself here and you could select the role of this person. Let's say that I was the songwriter on this track and I want the profit share to be 50. Every time that you update these percentages here, it'll automatically update in the other area to make it complete 100%. And let's go ahead and hit 50% publishing as well. You can continue to add as many collaborators as you need here and split up the profit shares and publishing percentages however you feel fit. All right. And last section here, we can go ahead and add a YouTube video URL if we have any related videos. Once we're done with that, we can go ahead and hit publish. All right, our track was posted successfully. All right, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, email support at beatstars.com. Thank you.